Good morning. It is a brisk 50 degrees. Man, it's the middle of May. And I remember a couple years ago when I was building this edition, it was already in the mid 90s and it was miserable, humid. And this year there's, you know, doesn't, don't feel any humidity. It's crisp, cool. I like it. You just never can count on what kind of summer, spring, or winter you're going to have any more these days. Man, but I'll take this. I, I could take a whole summer of this. This would be great. Well, today, let's discuss something that probably doesn't get discussed enough. So, I was talking to my parents the other day, I guess Mother's Day, and my father had made a comment, and he's made this a few times, and I know they're watching, but he made the comment, they're not sure if they raised us all right, you know, and I kind of told him, what are you talking about? You know, I never even, that, that thought never has crossed my mind ever that we were raised right you know we're not in prison we're not criminals uh, we're not drug addicts you know and a lot of parents may think that but you know what you all you know I'm I'm 58 years old they had me for 17 years that was it 17 years I've been around on this earth way more time on my own than they had me but in those years when you're young, you pick up, you know, kids, kids imitate what they see. Uh, so if you live a good lifestyle, a uh, good, honest, hardworking lifestyle, your kids see that. They, there's no excuse for them later in life if they don't pick up on that and they, and they don't live that way. And there's no reason, you know, parents should beat themselves up. Um, I asked him, I said, well, what? We all have homes. We all have good lives. What are you saying? <laughs> you know, and when I was younger, I got in my little scrapes with the law here and there. and Never nothing bad. Nothing. Oh, felonies. No, not just mischievous things I shouldn't have been doing. Um, most kids do. But just some of them don't get caught. Uh, and my best friend, you know. We didn't have the strictness, you know, I would, I'd always be at their house. We didn't have the level of strictness we had in my home, but there was still that, you know, they, they were brought up like, if you, if you mess up, you're getting your butt whooped. And that's what happened back in them days. You got your butt whooped and that don't happen anymore. You know, I knew if I messed up, usually my mother would be the, she'd dish out the spankings. But after I was 11, 12 years old, her spankings, they didn't hurt anymore. And you just kind of had to, she's going to kill me. You had to fake it. You know, so she, she would be done with it and move on. But you had to fake that it hurt. And then, then you got it when dad got home. You know, he'd get the arm. You ever had this one? They got you by the arm with the belt. And if you danced around bad enough, you got one in the lower back or something. That was not child abuse. That's been done for thousands of years to children. You may or may not agree with it, but that's just how it was done. It isn't done anymore. I, if, you, if you did that, you know, if I messed up in the grocery store, you know, my dad would get, he'd do the kick. He'd get you by the arm, kick you in the butt. And there may be more coming when you got home, but you didn't know. And we messed up a lot in the store. But you learn from that stuff over time. And in school, same way. I mean, I actually, in, in middle school, is what they call it now. I think it's probably six, seven. I got into the principal's office so many times for SWATs that he got me my own paddle. I am not kidding you. I had my own paddle in there. Had holes drilled in it. And let me tell you, they did not hold back on your butt. And if you've ever had swats in school, I hate to say it, I kind of like that burning feeling afterwards. You know, it would last for about a half hour, 45 minutes. Your butt would be on fire. That's how you know you got a good one. Man, 
Uh, then you'd have those teachers, and all the teachers had paddles. Now, there were some that didn't like to do it. Uh, I had a few of them. But the teacher across the hall would. So if you were bad, she'd go get the teacher across the hall, and the teacher across the hall would light your butt on fire. And they, they don't do that anymore. Well, that's child abuse deluxe nowadays. But look how the, look how the world is now. So... Was it such a bad thing? No. But all you can do is show your kids a good example. You know, uh, we didn't grow up wealthy. We did not grow up poor. There was always, always a meal, you know. And sometimes, you know, kids don't know what's going on financially. And I know there was times, the late 70s, early 80s, I know there was times that we that my parents had financial hardships. He used to own some businesses, and you know, then he sold them. And times changed, and I don't know for whatever situations, you know, that was not our business. You know, as long as there was food on the table, we didn't fill it. I mean, I can't remember going without. We weren't spoiled kids. We didn't have. Man, I have waddles. We didn't have a refrigerator full of Pepsis and Cokes. That was not allowed in my house. We, we would occasionally get a, we would get one if we went to McDonald's, and that was not in the day. You know that might be every two weeks. Usually we'd go out and eat on the weekends, and we could get something like that. But I have never developed any kind of a dependency on Coke or Pepsi or any kind of soft drinks. I, I just don't like them. I don't drink them. Uh, pretty much all we grew up drinking, I think, with meals was milk or water or iced tea. And I don't even remember. She would make sweet tea, but I preferred it unsweet. My grandmother would make it that way, unsweet. And I just got used to drinking it. Now, that's a crime here in the South, drinking unsweet tea. But I still drink that now. All I really drink is tea and water now. Uh... But you learn them, you get used, you, you know, a kid gets used to that routine, that lifestyle when they're young. And so when they're adults, you know, it's not a problem for them. So I don't never, I have never once questioned how I was raised or did they do right or wrong. I can't remember any times that were wrong. So, you know, they can put that to rest and I'm sure... My brothers feel the same. Uh, there was three of us. And I'm the oldest of three boys. And we were all pretty close in age. My other younger brother is a year younger than me. Actually, we, his birthday, his birthday is three days apart from mine. So we're, we got the same age for like three days. And every year we'd have a, a wrestling match. I'd always whoop them. They'd probably still whoop them. So we would do that every year. Uh, and then the youngest brother, he's three and a half years younger than me, three, a little over three years younger than me. So, man, I think about that. He's like 55 now. The baby is 55. Hard to believe. So, you know, if you grew up with uh, both your parents and you were taught well, well, then that's how you should teach your children. And if they're not your children, you're, maybe they're your grandchildren. I picked up so much from my grandparents. And my grandmother, we would go there every summer. Um, so I learned a lot from her. I mean, my grandmother taught me to drive. We would go to the park. I think I was 15. We'd go to the park. And this park would go for like 100 miles. And she'd let me drive. And that's how I learned to drive. My father attempted to teach me one time, and you know, his temper, he, he's not one to do that. So my grandmother was real calm. You know, she I'd never heard my grandmother, well, yeah, my grandmother yelled at me a few times, but it was well-deserved. You had to really mess up. Uh, my dad would always joke that, she threatened to spank us, and, and he'd say, yeah, she with her feather. But that's how she was. So, 
anyway uh if they're watching that's don't worry you know i may not i might not be the most sane person in the world but you know i live a good life enjoy life that's all that matters so y'all thanks for watching uh good video yesterday if y'all want to check it out um about about the house hunting escapade i had it's they're still bugging me guys if you sign up for any of that stuff if you even search for a home nowadays on Google, you get bombarded by houses that are for sale. And I've seen another one. Man, it's a perfect house. It's got a 30 by 40 shop, but it's right off Highway 71. There is no way I would ever bring my dogs to a, you know, I, w I couldn't stand listening to that traffic all day. But I ain't looking. We're just going to build on this place make improvements i'm happy with that so thanks for watching guys we will see you in a few days happy trails